Alright, in this video we're checking out the Beta FPV HX100 SE. This is a 1S toothpick and it's based on a lot of the components that were in the Meteor 65. It's got the same uh, 1S uh, brushless board which has the built-in receiver and then it's using the same camera, the uh, M01 with VTX combo. Uh, things that are different obviously are the frame, so we have you know, no ducks here. You get different motors. We have um, these 1102 13,500 kV motors, and then we're using these Gemfan 65 millimeter propellers. And uh, the carbon frame here is 100 uh, millimeters motor to motor. Uh, it's 2 millimeters thick. It weighs I believe, 4 grams, is what is spec'd out. So yes, it's very, very light. Um, I think it's like 28 grams, if I remember right. This is uh, propellers, no battery. Yeah, it's coming at around 29, just about 29 grams. So super lightweight. It's supposed to run on these the same 1S batteries with the BT uh, 2.0 connector. And you can see the connector here again uh, with the thicker pins for more current flow. The bottom here, you're just using this battery strap, which is not that great. Um, but it's only a 1S battery, and then they have a little non-slip pad there. Battery seems to be okay, seems to stand fine. The frame itself seems okay in terms of the way it's cut. It seems thick enough. It's fairly, fairly stiff. I mean, this, you're only running 1S, and you, yeah, it should be totally fine for 1S um, was given two batteries and it was actually these here with the blue got two of these and then these black ones were from the Meteor 65 the 300 milliamp hour and one of the blue ones here you see is totally puffed up I did a flight where I just kind of cruising around on this battery not really doing much I just wanted to see what kind of flight time I could get on on, on um, uh, just you know on one of these batteries just without drawing a lot of amps and I realized this battery was defective and I got a really short flight time so the data is kind of skewed and then I did a second flight with this battery which is apparently still good and I got a four, almost a five minute flight a little bit of uh, light acro, just flying around at the park um, doing some little flips and rolls, split us, that kind of thing, nothing too heavy it does advertise on their site that if you do basically full throttle acro for the whole battery it will last about two and a half minutes on this battery and about four minutes uh, if you're just cruising around so now in terms of the amp draw on this connector obviously I'll have to do more testing for a future video but I'm thinking that if you maybe switch this battery for 450 with this connector you're probably going to get a lot more flight time and less voltage lag although on this battery the good one on full punch outs at the beginning I don't think it fell it went from like 4.2 volts down to, I would say 3.8, 3.7. Uh, didn't really sag as much as I expected it to. Whereas this <laughs> defective battery sagged pretty badly. So I uh, don't have enough of these batteries to really do proper testing in terms of like, you know, longevity of the battery and all that kind of stuff. And obviously getting a defective battery doesn't help in terms of the testing. So I'm uh, going to have to probably... I got a couple more of these connectors. I sent two more of these, and I'm probably going to stick them on something else like a GMB 450 and do some more comparative testing with this battery, at least the ones that are good, to see you know what kind of realistic flight time you can get. Obviously, we're carrying a bigger battery around on 1S. It should be fine on this guy. I mean, I barely felt the weight on the 300. The 450 probably doesn't weigh that much more, but of course, on this light setup on 1S, every gram will make somewhat of a difference, so we'll have to see. It's a trade-off of less voltage sag versus carrying around more weight is what you're talking about between the 300 and going to like a 450, so we'll have to see. That's going to be in a future video. And one more thing I want to mention is it does come with two different mounts. It came uh, with this shallower mount, which is like 25 degrees, and I swapped it out for the one that's 35 degrees here so I can get more camera angle. It's kind of interesting that on the Meteor, the indoor one, they put the more the one with more camera angle on that one, and then uh, the one with a shallow angle on in the box, and it was reversed for this one. So I had to actually pull it out and swap it out because I wanted more camera angle for the outdoor flying versus the indoor flying. But if you want less camera angle, you just uh, swap out the camera mount for the uh, on the inside there. It shouldn't be a problem. And then the last thing that they sent I want to show you is this 
battery charger. So one S battery charger for the batteries with the BT 2.0 connector. And one of these will also give you a voltage reading. So if you want to check your voltage on your battery, just plug it in and it will give you a voltage reading. Plug this into any power brick, a USB power brick, um, and it will uh, start charging the battery. If you have two of them there, it'll charge two of them at the same time. So I think this um, not is actually in the store yet. This is kind of said this we're testing. It seems to be working just fine. So I'm not sure what the pricing is, but I'll uh, put a link to this down in the description later. If I if you don't see that, uh, leave me a comment and I'll put that link down in the description or send you a response to your comment. So overall, it pretty much performed as I was expecting. It's not a powerhouse. It's only 65 millimeters, not three inches, and it's only one S. Super, super quiet. Um, you can barely hear it. This is uh, going to be perfect for those situations where you want to fly at a park, maybe around people, and you don't want to disturb people or draw uh, a lot of attention. Uh, very, very quiet, and uh, it's not that fast. It's not a powerhouse, so you're not going to cause a lot of damage if you happen to hit, you know, a person or run into, uh, you know, some sort of an object or something. Uh, probably not going to have a lot of damage. Um, you know, this thing isn't probably the most durable thing. It's super lightweight. You know, if you're going to be bashing around in a bando or something like that, then this thing probably won't survive. But if you're just flying in a sort of an open area like I was at a park, uh, this is a good one to, to, to get and check out. And, uh, you know, these 1S batteries, they're, they're not too expensive. You can get, I think you can probably get these. Actually, I don't, I'm not exactly sure what the pricing is. I'll put it down in the description. What a link to these. But they're, if I remember right, they weren't too, too, weren't, weren't too super expensive compared to if you're uh, getting, like, the 2 or 3S uh toothpicks out there, those batteries are going to be obviously more expensive. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and show you the flights. I'm going to go ahead and show you the first one anyway, just to give you an idea of what that's like, even though it's on a defective battery. And then the second flight will be on the good battery with a little bit more acro flying. So here are the flights, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. All right, so for this first flight, just going to take it easy and see what kind of flight time we can get on this 300 milliamp hour LiPo. You can see the camera gets really dark when you face the sun. So it looks like it's better indoors than outdoors. I've uh, flown this inside like a, a dark garage. In a previous video, this camera seemed to perform better indoors. Not so great outdoors. The sun is low in the sky. It's a ch very challenging lighting condition. Nothing, nothing, uh, not gonna go too crazy here. Just want to see how long of a flight I can get on this battery. And you can see the throttle position on the left there. And the voltage. And it's immediately it sagged from 4.1 to 3.5. And the next battery, I'll do some more acro, punch outs, that kind of thing. want to see if you're just flying this casually at the park how much flight time you can get already getting a low battery warning taking it totally easy here so I'm gonna let it go a little bit longer here yeah it looks like it's pretty much done at 3.3 volts I'll let it go to 3.2 and then I'll bring it in that's disappointing a minute and a half and I wasn't really doing anything. Alright, so it's not dropping the 3.2 yet, so I'm going to let it go to 3. Point, well, it came back to 3.4. So a little battery warning here is a little bit on the low side, perhaps. I'm waiting for the battery to be pretty much empty. Not accounting for the voltage sag, so... I think the battery voltage warning is set a little bit too high for these batteries. And this prop, so yeah. I mean, I still feel like I, I don't have. Uh, so feel like I still have power. Okay, so I'm at three point two now. Uh, go ahead and bring it in. So I'm saying like maybe two, two and a half minutes on this prop and battery. I'm thinking a bigger battery is going to be needed. All right, let's bring it in and see what the other battery does with some acro. 
All right, so I'm gonna do a little bit of uh, acro flying in this flight. This thing's really quiet. See how fast I can go by me here. So I'm giving it a little more gas so you can see the jello. And this battery seems to be doing a lot better for some reason. I'm giving it a lot more gas. Perhaps that battery was just defective. It's steady at 3.8 and I've been doing a few punch shots here. Let's do another, see what kind of voltage sag. Yeah, it has a full punch out there. It didn't really sag that much. Interesting, maybe that battery was just no good. I'm thinking that battery was probably no good. It's 3.7 still. Yeah, I'm already at two minutes, so... Yeah, I gotta think of that battery is probably no good. This thing is super quiet, it doesn't make any noise at all. Yeah, I'm at 3.5. Now I'm getting a battery warning after that punch out. 3.4. And I'm already at three minutes, so yeah, that other battery must have just been no good. Oops. A bit a little too low to the ground. I'm not sure why that guy is riding his bike through the grass instead of the very nice asphalt path to the right. Alright, four and a half minutes, 3.4 volts. Yeah, that other battery was definitely no good. Oh, and I'm getting the low battery warning, 3.3 volts, so. Let it go down to 3.2 like the other one, and we'll see what the total flight time is like. There we go, 3.2 after that last punch out. So, almost five minutes of flight time. 
pretty crazy.